Karen, it's really nice to have you here. And I know you've been quilting a long time. You teach classes on the different concepts of quilting that you do. And I have to admit, they're very different. Is that what your students always say too? Yeah, that, if it's easy, I'm, I'm teaching it. It's gotta be real basic sewing. Oh good, well then I think maybe there's, a, there's hope for me too. Let's take a look at your jacket because this is what, it's called Wearable Waves. Mm -hmm. And then you have another book coming out called, let's see, no, Layered Waves is out and Wearable Waves is coming out. Right. And this is what you mean by that? Right, and it's, it's using my layered waves technique um, to create a jacket, but the secret is that it's on a sweatshirt base. It makes it so that I know that it's gonna fit before oh, I... Oh, so buy your sweatshirt, know that mm -hmm. it fits, and then, uh, and that's what we wanted to show here was you bought a, a red sweatshirt. To make sure to go with this color palette. Because and that's what you want that to That will be my lining, because uh -huh. that's the part that's gonna show. Oh, I already like it. Half the work's done for yeah. you, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be okay. good. Okay, so Good. this picking the fabrics, and, and we've talked about this uh, before. For some of us, this is so helpful to see the the flow of the fabric colors. Right, and it's important to have at least um, one solid or a fabric that's like a tone on tone. It's good to have a large print, a medium print, and a small print. Oh. And for my wearable waves, I stick to six fabrics, just six um, half yard cuts, three, three. So depending on the size uh -huh. of the sweatshirt. Um, but so six fabrics and you know, the two solids in the different scale. In so that'll different give scale. you balance. Oh, that's good. I'm, I've learned something already. Yeah, so okay. that's where we're starting. So we've taken our sweatshirt apart, mm -hmm. and what's going to happen is... tell this is one of the fronts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the smooth side, which is normally the outside of the sweatshirt, is going to be the inside the of lining. our lining. Right. Uh -huh. So we're going to work on the fuzzy side. So oh. I thought I would show you how to make a layered waves fabric that's going to fit one of the, the front pieces okay. here. So I would start with a strip of fabric, and I'm just going to kind of put it this Oh, so just make way. sure it okay. shows. It's okay. Um, so it's a good, you know. So you want to make sure you've yeah. got enough yeah, fabric. Yeah, I want to make that. Uh -huh. um, so I start out with that, and I'm just going to cut because this is my layered curves waves top stitching technique, and it's just free form cutting with a rotary I think that's cutter, amazing. which is very scary for yes. most people. But I've done it a few times. So the idea is you just cut whatever feels good to you, and that felt good to me right now. <laughs> and <laughs> then I take that to my iron. And I'm going to iron an approximate quarter inch seam allowance. Just kind of use my index finger and my thumb as a guide to follow. And mm -hmm. I do love steam in my iron. You just have to move fast so you don't uh -huh. burn yourself. And I take that newly ironed piece, okay? Right. That's and I all put it, done. Yep, uh -huh. put it on my next fabric in the sequence, okay? And then I would, before I pin it, I'm going to just cut another curve, whatever feels good, just kind of real playtime, okay? <laughs> and then I would pin those two pieces together. Now, will you also turn this one down? I will, yeah. Okay. But first, what I'll do is I'll pin this. So you won't get them out of order. Right. So okay. I'm going to, I've already pinned this. <laughs> okay. Okay, fast so forwarding. here it's pinned. Yeah, oh, fast okay. forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've got that ironed edge. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to top stitch with the sewing machine, just a just straight line just straight following stitch. a curve. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I, I've already done that. So here I've got oh. it. Uh -huh. And what I've done is I've top stitched an eighth of an inch from the edge. And see how it gives that like a little, mm -hmm. you can see Lift. it more on my jacket, uh -huh. like a little, little lip texture. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we're ready to, we've got a little extra back there. We oh. cut whatever's away, um, about, you know, cut it as a quarter you go inch. with each one. Yeah, from that. And I see now why you haven't already turned that other one down, because you wanted the pieces stuck together. Well... Yes and no. I mean, oh. I, I might use that later in the process. Uh -huh. but and I'm then this, this, yeah, this will uh -huh. get ironed under, and then Each we'll one. repeat you that just, sequence. Okay. Yeah, so I've moved along, and um, I've gone up to this point, oh, and I thought pretty. you might want to see how to do those kind of points that I have in my jacket. I hadn't even noticed that. Yeah, yet. now you know. Okay, now got a I white thread there. Mm -hmm. What I do is um, we're going to just draw these, and I've already drawn them in here, our, our like, uh, yeah, mountains, but they've got to be 90 degrees or greater or else it's too much fabric to turn under. Oh. So um, these I've ironed under here, but just to show you, these have to be cut with the rotary, I'm not the rotary cutter, the scissors. So we're going to cut there. We'll make sure we're a half an inch from the edge because we need to clip in there in order to iron. So I'm going to quick okay. do that so that you can see that. And some are closer than others. Some, obviously. yeah, we don't want to be even. We just want to be rather unpredictable. <laughs> That's what I do well. And I'm going to clip that 
um, just right in there so that mm -hmm. when I go to iron, th this part I haven't ironed toward the back and then I fold it over at the mm -hmm. peak there, I'll bring it over so that you can see that just like so. And you just press all of those. Just, mm -hmm. yeah, and I time. press those over already. So we've got that mm -hmm. looking on the back, okay. It's easy. Yeah, real easy. So far so good. So far so good. So now I've got that piece and then I would just continue. Okay, I would just put this piece down. Oh, and this is a different one. This is yeah, still we one of the six. Yeah, we haven't used yep. this one yet. We haven't used this one. This is prior six, and then I would cut another curve. Being careful not to. Mm -hmm. And would this one be cut quite a ways out from That's the top of the question. peak? That's a good question. If you cut it a half an inch from the peak, it'll look like they're pieced in there. If you cut it far away, it'll look like they're floating. So both ways oh, are nice. So you could do both. You okay. could do both. I see on your jacket the different widths away from. Yeah, yeah. And so like going down the sleeve like that, I thought I'd show you um, how something like that would go. We would take, we wanted our black to be the streak. We would cut, oh, let's do, actually, let's do the curve one first. I wanted to show you another one first. If we just cut down the center like this, a very wavy curve, <laughs> okay. Now pretend we've ironed that already, just okay. for the fun of that. If we put that down here and we do this, oh, look at that. That's pretty, pretty, but uh -huh. it's even prettier if you move it up and down like that. And I call that a little ribbon. A ribbon. And that's uh -huh. kind of nice to run like. down the sleeve. And mm -hmm. I've also used it probably in, here it is in this fabric, um, using different Thank fabrics. You. So it just gives, they're all curves, uh -huh. but they're just done slightly different. Just freehand. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we can do that. And here it is sewn. We could mm -hmm. also do that same thing with the zigzag, which is kind of fun. Um, that I can't cut with the rotary cutter. We'll do it real quickly with, with the scissors. Because more sharp. Yeah, and again, uneven. But it's just random still. Yeah, just, un, you know, and I kind of did a bad cut there, but you'll see where I'm going with this. It's just playtime. <laughs> if I'm not having fun, I don't want to be doing it. No. It's got to be fun. So here we have that's the middle one. That's mm -hmm. the middle one. We can put this down like this. We can have just a regular little, mm -hmm. like that, kind of streak of lightning. Or if we move it up or down, we've got these neat totally little... Totally changes yeah. it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and so here It is are. like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> and here this, here we have those two options. And uh -huh. that's kind of, you know, those are neat for putting down your sleeves, your uh -huh. sleeves or any place like that. And moving right along, so here we have, we've... Here's that one piece of and fabric. You don't even have to do both sleeves the same, do you? Oh heavens, no! Oh. We wouldn't want to. <laughs> I be, should have known we, better. <laughs> we wouldn't want to be predictable. So here, we, for each of our fabrics, um, for our sweatshirt pattern pieces, uh -huh. the two we're making a piece of fabric. So mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it upside down. If I would put the fuzzy side down like mm -hmm. so, and then I would um, trim it. And this then becomes a pattern. In that itself. becomes your uh -huh. pattern. And so once that's trimmed. There then you're is. ready to quilt it. And again, it's just, you're just stitching along I'm edges. I'm just going to uh -huh. do some basic quilting. Mm -hmm. And here's my other front. And I had some fun with quilting. Here are the sleeves. Oh, so you just did this pattern on the bottom. Yeah, just some free, and you probably can see the quilting better on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. that is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> We're at reversible. Yep. So the two sleeves, huh. and then the back. We've got, um, we have oh, that, that zigzag that we did is going to run uh -huh. over the shoulder. And then we're going to put our sweatshirt back together. So that's <laughs> easy sew sewing. it together. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, that is amazing how that turns out. <laughs> I call it seriously simple sewing. <laughs> seriously simple sewing. Well, thank you very much, Karen, for showing us. Yeah. And if, if you have time, there's, uh, I brought one that actually in a different color palette so that you can see that ribbon effect that we talked um, about. And this was a about. sweatshirt? Too. That was a pink sweatshirt. And we put the little ribbon down the, the sleeves here uh -huh. and um, just kind of a fake collar. Wow. They're beautiful. Thank you very much. My pleasure.